everybody and welcome back to another yoga class. This week I'm going to be focusing on our hamstrings. I know a lot of us are maybe sitting down as much as they were or a little bit more um, recently. Um, so this one will be a really nice stretch for the legs. Uh, I recommend if you are feeling a bit tight in this area, you know you're pretty inflexible, you have a couple of blocks and maybe a strap um, around you, but otherwise it's just go as far as you can and ease into positions and just treat your body with care as always. And if we're ready, let's get into the video. Finding a cross-legged seated position on our mats, we're going to just ground ourselves into the space prepare ourselves for this yoga practice we're about to embark on. So this can be cross leg, lotus, you know the drill, anything you want. If you don't want to cross your legs, let's just have them out in front of us. You can do half lotus today. Let's bring our hands onto our knees, taking a hand mudra if you fancy, and closing down the eyes, really preparing the mind into the room, onto the mat. Let's begin by focusing on our breaths. So big inhales that fill up our whole entire torso. And big exhales out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And release, exhale through the mouth. Continue on with these four yogic breaths. Going at your own pace, not holding or withholding anything here. Really notice the journey of movement as the air comes in through the nose, down the throat and fills up your lungs, making your belly rise. And as you exhale, reversing that movement, your belly lowering the air from the lungs emptying. And finally exhale, feel the air flowing out through the mouth. Taking our focus a little bit more inwards to the body, let's just do a quick scan, making sure that we take care where we find any stresses or tensions in the body. And we just keep those places aware during our practice and really send love and energy and don't push them too far. Bringing our hands to our heart centre, let's bow the head and feel free here to set an intention for your practice if you like to do so. Beautiful, batting the eyes open, lift up the head and let's begin by stretching our wrists or warming up our wrists. So let's rotate the wrists in one direction. Let's do the other direction. Beautiful. And let's just interlace the fingers, stretch them out in one way, opening up through the back of our upper back, <laughs> our shoulder blades. And then just pushing, like rotating 180 and pushing the palms out away from you now. Beautiful, so beginning our warm up, let's come up to standing and make our way to the top of the mat. We're just gonna do a very easy variation of a sun salutation. Obviously we're focusing on the back of our legs, specifically our hamstring. So putting our feet either together or hip width apart today, yogi's choice, take it easy on yourself. Bending, having always a slight bend in the knees today, Let's pull up through the kneecaps to engage our quads, always tensing the butt, and then um, bring the energy up, creating a little space in the torso, shoulders roll back and down. Beautiful. As we inhale, let's raise our hands overhead, look up to our thumbs. As we exhale, let's forward fold. <laughs> Here's our first hamstring stretch. So ideally in Uttanasana, we're trying to bring our chest towards our thighs. Obviously, if you're feeling rather tight, have a nice generous bend in the legs, bringing the hands towards the mat and letting your head dangle. Breathing here. If you are feeling like this is okay, you wanna take it to the next level, let's slowly pedal out our legs. So bending through the right knee and straightening the left knee, 
leg. Inhale here, and as we exhale, let's switch knees. Inhale, and exhale, switch. One more, inhale here, and exhale, switch. So if we're returning to bent knees, or if you want to keep them straightened, Let's inhale, do a halfway lift. Flat back position, having a 90 degree angle between our legs and our torso. And exhale, fold again. Again, bending the knees as generously as you need to. Let's inhale, come all the way up to standing. Arms up overhead, gazing at our thumbs. And exhale, hands to heart. Let's repeat this. Inhale, hands come up overhead, Arva Hastasana, gazing at the thumbs. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Again, yogi's choice. Slight pedal of the legs quicker this time. Inhale, plant the hands on the thighs and lift the chest up to flat back position, halfway lift and gazing at our third eye. Exhale, fold fully. And inhale, come all the way back up. Arva Hastasana, gazing at the thumbs overhead and palms meet. And exhale, hands to heart. One more of these. Bending the knees, inhale, root to rise. Arms come up overhead, gazing at the thumbs. Arva Hastasana. As you exhale, fold at the hips, bringing the chest towards our thighs. Uttanasana. Counting the hands, either on the floor, shins, or thighs this time. Inhale, halfway lift. As we exhale, we're going to plant our palms on the ground. Uh, generous bend in the knees and step our legs back to downward facing dog. In our downward facing dog, we're looking to have our hands um, shoulder width apart and our feet hip width apart. We're going to slightly out turn the heels so we have inward rotation of the thighs and have our middle fingers pointing forwards so there's a seamless line. Now we're focusing on our hamstrings in this stretch so don't worry too much about your upper body just make sure your chest is sending energy backwards towards the mat. Ground through the left foot and bend through the right knee and we're going to walk up our um, knees just as we did in our forward fold. Don't worry if your um, heels don't reach the floor, we're just aiming to send our energy that way. Inhale here, exhale, switch legs, so left knee comes forward, right ankle or heel anchors towards the ground. As we inhale, let's switch on our exhale. Inhale here, exhale, change. Beautiful. Coming back to stillness, we're going to roll our upper body forwards and come into a plank position. Might have to shift your feet backwards, I agree. Inhale here and exhale. Let's bring belly to the cobra, keeping a nice straight line in our plank. Inhale, baby cobra. As we exhale, tuck the toes under and push our hips up and back to downward facing dog. So you might feel this dog's a little bit looser than the first one, hair loose. Uh, so we're gonna intensify the stretch. Yogi's choice, either choose to pedal the feet like we did previously or follow me in this way. So we're gonna take our right hand and bring it towards our left ankle. If this is not possible, do the left thigh or the left shin. Grounding down through into our left um, hand. Now that should intensify the stretch on our left leg. If you want to go even deeper, bend through that right leg. Breathe here, guys. Exhale, bring the hand back to the front. And let's go straight into bringing our left hand towards our right ankle. Again, 
again, option to bend the left knee to intensify the stretch. Beautiful, exhale, come back. Let's move our upper body back to plank again, as we did previously. Inhale here. Exhale, lower back the entire belly to the mat. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, tuck the toes under, and let's push up and back to downward facing dog. Breathe to reset, so big inhale. And exhale, let go. Beautiful. Okay, so grounding down through the right foot. Inhale, left leg rises. As we exhale, bring the knee towards the nose and plant your foot between your hands. Beautiful work. Rotating onto that left foot, so it's now at a 90 degree angle. Inhale, come up to standing, straightening through that right leg. Triangle pose. We know the drill, we might need to walk our back foot in a couple inches. Inhale, arms rise out either side of us, sending our energy outwards. And as we inhale, reach forward and exhale, come down, send the energy down. Having that left, having that right arm floating on top of us, this is going to be hard. <laughs> and sending our left fingertips towards the ground, gaze can be up at our right fingers or down at the ground. If your fingers aren't able to meet the floor, let's come up to our shin, really engaging the core, having it turned on, or have the hands flat, or if um, you want to, place a block to bring the ground up to you. Breathing here, two. We want our body to be as it feels between two panes of glass, so really rotate that shoulder backwards, have our hips come in an alignment. Three. Four, don't forget to breathe. And really feel the hamstring of our left leg opening up here. And five, as we exhale, we're going to bring that um, right hand down towards the mat, bend through that left leg and come onto the side. This is a ninja pose or a the Sanskrit name. Uh, so we're going to come to ninja pose. We're going to open up through our right hamstring here. Um, your left foot can either be on toes like me or flat to the ground. It just depends on your flexibility here. And then we're going to have our chest lifted. Breathing here. Have the right toes pointing towards the ceiling. Feel the variation if you want to explore your body. Obviously point, you might feel a deeper stretch here. Yogi's choice. Two. Let's walk our fingertips towards that right foot. If you'll feel a much deeper stretch around the knee area, the knee joint, so if you're a bit weak here, just make sure um, you stay where it's comfortable. We never want to push ourselves too far. Our bodies are very delicate. Three. towards where our center of gravity is. Let's come to a wide-legged forward fast stance. So we'll have the toes of the feet all coming forward, so we're facing the long edge of our mat. Let's have the heels slightly turned out so the edges of our legs are parallel with the short edges of the mat. Let's inhale here, and as we exhale, grab towards our ankles. I'm using our elbows to really Pull the head towards the floor. Two. What I've made forward folds are really fabulous for opening up the outsides of the legs as well as the hamstrings. over to the right and just bring it towards our right leg if we can. 
and over to the left. Beautiful inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the hips and inhale, come all the way up. We're going to rotate that left foot back towards the front of the mat and step the right foot just um, to be about three feet behind the um, front foot. So something like this. Let's bring our hands to um, grab our elbows. If you can do reverse prayer hands here, feel free to take this variation. For me, grabbing the elbows is just a lot more comfortable. Let's inhale, open our chest, sending energy upwards out of our head. And as we exhale, keeping that energy, let's start to look forward and bend through the hips. <laughs> Only go as far as to keep the integrity of our straight back here. Breathe. So this is a pyramid variation. Really fabulous, but just be very careful of this front knee. Don't lock into it because you could cause a lot of pain here. Two. If you can, have those back toes pointing a little bit more towards the front. And with exhales, feel gravity pulling yourself down, deepening that hamstring stretch. Three. Stay strong in that um, left glute. Four. And five, exhale, release the hands to the mat. Great work, guys. Let's come onto the right knee. Sort of having the knee underneath the hip here. We might need to move it back to create a little bit of space. We're gonna come into our half split. So let's straighten through that left leg. A classic hamstring stretch for a non-yogi term, which you might be more familiar with. And then have our hands on the mat beside us. If again this is way too intense, have a slight bend in that front leg. And also you can um, opt to bring the earth upwards again, so using those blocks or books or whatever it is you have. Exhale here. Again, just like in our pyramid, our half pyramid, it's really important that we keep energy shooting outwards from our heads and really maintaining the integrity of our back. So don't hunch over just to get your head close. Let's keep up straight. Three. Again, feel free to explore and see what feels good, pointing the foot, flexing the foot. For me, I feel much stronger and stretch when I'm flexing my foot. And five, beautiful, bending through that left leg. Let's bring our hands either side of the foot. Inhale, look forward, tuck the toes under the back and step back to downward facing dog. Great work, guys. So you stay where you are. I'm just gonna switch around so that I'm not having my back to the camera. And let's repeat this on the other leg. So when we're ready, let's ground down through the left foot. Inhale, right leg comes forward and the foot plants between the hands. Let's rotate onto that back foot at a 90 degree angle. Inhale, strength through that left leg energy comes up to standing. Again, we might need to step in that back foot a little bit just to create a nice amount of space between the legs. You want about one leg distance here. Inhale, arms rise. Let's reach forward and down, coming into Trikonasana. Again, our um, right fingertips here can be at the ground, right palms on the ground, but just remember to keep that shoulder um, coming back. And then also they can be resting on the shins using the core or have a block there to support you. Stay here for five breaths. One. Just remain having a lot of energy coming up through that left arm and have your gaze follow upwards. Again, stacking that left arm on top of the shoulder. 
So if it's a bit um, strenuous on the neck, feel free to look down at the mat. Yogi's choice. Four. Keeping the hips in line with the upper body. Two panes of glass, remember. And five. As we exhale, let's bend through that right knee. The left arm comes down to the mat. Let's rotate onto the side and come to ninja. So a nice straight line through that left leg. <clears throat> left toes can be pointed up to the ceiling or straight again, whatever you felt felt good in the last time. Let's do it on this side. So let's have our energy coming up, having our hands in where our center of gravity is on the mat. Three, let's creep our hands towards that left foot. Again, stopping where it feels most intense. Either stay here or just come back a little bit just to ease our hamstrings into it. and five yoga we're walking our hands back towards our center of gravity bend that left leg and come up to a wide legged stance forward fold inhale here open the chest and exhale leave that movement down with our chest head towards the mat remember to have our heels slightly upturned here one Let's bring our hands to our ankles and really use the strength of our elbows to pull our heads towards the mat. Obviously, if you're nowhere near here, that's absolutely fine. We're just working uh, day by day and you'll really see improvement the more times you repeat these moves. Two. This is a lovely opener here for the hips and the hamstrings. Three, and actually this and forward folds can be very calming movements. Anywhere where you're bringing your brain below your heart center, letting that blood move in opposite, opposite directions can be very calming for the mind. Just be wary if you have uh, blood pressure issues, like high blood pressure, um, staying in these positions for too long can do more harm than good. Four, and five, beautiful. Let's just bring our hands over to that left foot quickly before we rise. And exhale over to the right foot. And back to center, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to hips and inhale, come all the way up to standing. This time pointing our right toes towards the back of our mat. So let's step that left leg to be about three feet distance behind the front. Again, either grasping the elbows or have prayer hands. This is the more traditional pose. For me, uh, grasping the hand very, elbows variation is definitely okay. And actually, if this is difficult, feel free to grab just a strap, just to keep the hands behind the backs. Inhale, again, bring energy up, out through our head, resonate it all the way to the sky. And as we exhale, keeping that energy, keeping that straight back, let's really lean forward, opening up through our right hamstrings. One. We want our back toes to really be uh, pointing as far forward as we can without obviously losing balance. So I say about a 45 degree angle, sort of like you would in warrior one. So our hips are square with the front of the mat. Well, the back of the mat in this case. Three. <laughs> Letting gravity pull you as your body loosens up here, as your hamstring loosens up. And just being very wary of that knee not to lock it. Four. Five, beautiful, release the hands to the mat either side of that front foot. Bend through the right foot. You might need to bring that um, left toes back again. Bring the left knee to the mat. Inhale, look forward. 
exhale, straighten through that right leg. Come to a half split. Bring the hands to the mat, or again, up and blocks if you need to here. Just like in our pyramid, we're just keeping our energy rooting out through the top of our heads, keeping our back as straight as possible, basically avoiding this and staying up like this. Two. If you need to intensify, let's walk fingers forwards a bit. Three. Just be very protective of that knee. This is a very similar effect to the pyramid, so doing them back to back can be quite intense. Just be where you are and be appreciative of your body. Four. And five. Beautiful, bending through that left right knee. Inhale, look forward to low lunge. Tucking the right toes, no, tucking the left toes under. Planting through the hands, lift that back knee and step back to downward facing dog. Let's take the dog for one more walk. Beautiful, so from here, let's exhale, bring the knees towards the mat. Coming back onto our bums and let's just move the ankles to one side and find our way into having our legs out in front of us. Beautiful. So just like in our Tadasana, our mountain pose, we're going to stay very active and engaged here. Lifting the kneecaps up, making sure our quads are engaged. You might just need to pull the fleshy bits of our skin to one side, just so you can really feel those sit bones anchoring you to the mat. And let's inhale, bring all the energy up, out through the head, and coming back down, have your shoulders roll down, a little bit of space in the torso here. So this is a very active position, um, actually really hard to hold, but it's really important that you're keeping these aware so you don't hurt yourself in poses. So from here, we're gonna walk our hands down our legs. If you're here and the hamstrings are hurting, that's absolutely fine. Just keep a micro bend in the knee if you need to. If you can, come to grab the ankles or the feet. You can grab the big toes or the outside of the feet. Yogi's choice here. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, let bend. Staying here for five breaths. So a forward fold is definitely the most direct way to open up our hamstrings, um, but what it also does is opens up the lower part of our back. So if you find that you get a lot of tightness here, this can be a very, very rewarding pose in terms of relieving stress and tension in the lower back. Just be careful that you're not going too far because obviously when something's hurting, if you push it too far, it can often do more harm than good. Um, if you need to vary here, uh, you can grab a block. I should have grabbed this earlier, but you can put it on the outside of your feet just to increase the stretch a little bit deeper. But again, just like in our standing forward folds, we're aiming to get the chest towards the thighs before the nose reaches the, the knee. So always pulling forwards. Four. With each exhale, you might find you're, you're loosening up and you can go a little bit deeper into the stretch. Five, beautiful inhale, look forward. And as we exhale, let's just walk the hands up the legs, giving them a little shake out. Pretty intense hamstring um, stretch, but hopefully they'll feel really good. So bringing our left ankle, or left uh, sole of our foot to the inside of the right thigh, so that we have um, a nice 90 degree bend, sort of like a Vrikanasana, our tree pose. Uh, we're going to do the same thing, but this time focusing solely on the right leg. So let's inhale here, stay strong, keeping all of our key points intact. And as we exhale, let's walk those hands towards the foot. You might find once you eliminate one hamstring, you feel a bit more flexible. That's perfect. Just remember to be protective of the joints that are really working here. So breathing deeply, 
we're aiming to bring again our chest towards our thigh, our nose towards our knee, our hand can be wrapped around the foot. Two. Three. You'll feel as you inhale that you create space in that hamstring. And as you exhale, the skin might release a little bit. It's very interesting to be very mindful of your breaths and really see what each breath um, does to your body as you're in these positions, these asanas. And five, inhale, look forward. And as we exhale, let's walk the hands back up the leg and let's switch to the other side. So bring the sole of our right foot to the inside of our left thigh, keeping the energy high coming out of the head. Let's exhale, walk our hands down our legs and grab the foot if we can. Again, it's absolutely fine if you're here, just be here, be present and use your breath as guidance to close that gap as you need to. So wherever you are, let's inhale, create space and exhale, fold. Two. Three. Just like in our two-legged forward fold, feel free to have a block here to help you create more space, or less space, I suppose, to help you remove space. Three, no, I said that four. <laughs> and five, wonderful. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, come back up to seated. Let's just bring both legs in the front and give our legs a good shake out. Bring the soles of the feet to the floor. Let's drop the knees to one way, to the left side if you like, or the right. Inhale up through center and exhale the other way. And just go a couple times for these windshield wiper legs. Or if you're American windscreen wipers. Wonderful. So coming to our backs, lying down. We just got one more stretch on each leg. Here would be a great time to have um, a strap, but if you don't, let's just be where we are. So we're going to keep the sole of our right foot planted on the mat, and we're gonna inhale, bring the left leg up to a 90 degree angle, and if we can, grab onto the shin or the thigh. Wherever you are, this is great. Keeping engaged by having our foot flexed. We're gonna stay here. One. Let's use our breath here to really help with the movement. So with our inhales, we find the space and length and with our exhales, you can bring that leg a little bit more towards you. Two. Having a micro bend in that left knee is really important with all hamstring stretches just so you don't lock the joint out. Three, feel the wobbles, feel the shakes. You're doing a great job, guys. And this is incredibly demanding on hamstrings. Four. And five, beautiful, let go of the leg. And really gently and mindfully, let's place the left sole of the foot to the mat. So let's do this on the other side. Inhale, right leg comes up. And if you can, grab the shin or the thigh. And this is where the strap will come in handy because you can put the strap around your foot and just hold. Um, you know what? I have one, I'll show you. So just placing the strap around your foot. Let's hold it here.
So wherever you are, let's come into position and start to open up our hamstrings or continue to. Two. What's really important here is that you don't hold behind the knee because you're just gonna bring that joint in and it's gonna reverse any um, progress that we're making here. Well, not reverse, but it's just not gonna do anything. Three. Four. And five. Exhale really mindfully. Let's bring that leg to the mat. Wonderful. Just take any movements now that you see to me that your body's yearning for. For me, I just love to windshield wipe my legs. And I'm just gonna straighten out my legs and point and flex my toes, specifically pointing. It's just a really nice counter movement to the flexing of the feet. When you're ready, let's come to our final relaxation. So finding ourselves on the mat, having our legs wide, as wide as the mat can go, having the feet full weightless to the floor, Palms up, arms either side of us, corpse pose. Start to deepen our breaths. Catch breath. Focusing again like we did in the beginning on that journey. The inhales coming in through the nose, coming down, throating it into the lungs. You feel your belly rising. And as we exhale, the belly lowers, the lungs will empty. And you can hear the breath feeling the body. Relaxing the mind. Relaxing the legs. They worked very hard today. Feel the weight of them being supported by the ground. Gravity making them heavier. The small of your back touching the ground if it can. The arms holding no more tension. Everything letting go. Keep focusing on that breath. Let's bring our awareness deeper inwards, doing a quick body scan, finding those areas that might have been giving us grief in the beginning and noticing how they've changed, hopefully feeling better. Everything is completely relaxed. to wiggle our toes and our fingertips. Bring the yoga floor into our ankles and our wrists. And keeping the eyes closed, let's roll it on to our right side body. Using our arm as a pillow. Just enjoying these few more moments of relaxation. With the eyes closed, let's push into our arms and come up to a seated position. Any cross leg will do. A nice straight spine will be perfect. Hands can come to our knees. Bring our hands to our heart centers. Let's be thankful for our practice and for our bodies, for all that they do for us, keeping us, so keeping us safe and healthy in this time. So bowing the head to the hands, bringing the chin towards the chest. Let's remember our intentions we set in the beginning of this practice. 
And as we exhale, bend forwards. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.